most people end up screwing up that first round of J mains and with that because the 11 topics are very very weak. The most people actually tend to get serious about exams like these only during the beginning of 12th standard. And when you start your 12th standard, you realize that it's almost too late. Because there's too much of topics covered in 12th standard and at the same time, even 11th standard is also very very hectic. There's a lot of difficult chapters and there's a lot of weight is given to a lot of these chapters. So how do you actually go about covering these and how do you actually end up acing your first round of G means? That's what we're going to be discussing about in this video here today. If you're new here, my name is Hari. I'm a recent graduate from Bits Pilani. I'm here to help you out in the best way possible so that you get to AC preparation. So let's just get started. So most people actually tend to end up asking like, but yeah, we have to focus on 12th or 11th parallelly or should we actually end up studying 11th only during the time of revision towards after we finish the entire syllabus probably in starting of December, January. See guys, the entire problem with starting late of 11th standard is that you'll end up losing a lot of important topics. And given that the level of GE means, the question of GE means is kind of considerably reduced over the years, if you do a little bit of effort, if you put a little bit of effort starting now in covering your topics for 11th standard, you will end up doing really, really well. And the way you actually do that is by actually strategizing and picking what are the important chapters to cover and how do we actually go about acing these chapters really, really well. So that before the first round of J mains, we are actually ready in a state so that we can actually go and ace the first attempt of gaming. I met a student who had no preparation in 11th standard. He actually started preparing, preparing only in 12th. But and he did so well in 12th standard that he ended up covering a lot of 11th standard by using the spare time in 12th standard. And because of that, his rank was around 3000 in G-Main and he got close to like 30 plus in with that as well. I think I got a rank of 6000 in uh, G-Mains. Advanced, I had 3400 around that rank. And in Bitsat, I scored 338 because I was in first studying in Allen for two years and mainly started focusing only in 12th. I uh, was aiming for a proper J-Mains performance. So we'll take his example and we'll understand how he actually ended up covering a lot of 11th standard in 12th standard itself, right? So generally what happens for most people is that like school gets around over around close to 5 p.m. and you start studying at around 6 p.m., right? So like close to like three, four hours try to spend for your 12th standard preparation, do your DPPs, do your solving of whatever question banks that you have for 12th standard and do prepare for your NCRT exams and other things as well. But at least allocate one and a half hours every day so that you can devote it purely for 11th standard preparation. And if you have close to 1.5 hours into close to like five days a week, that's close to seven and a half hours. And during the weekends, if you're studying a little bit more, you're closing three hours per day on 11th standard topics, then you will have close to like 13, 14 hours or maybe even maximum 15 hours during a week for your 11th standard preparation only. And during those three, four hours, you have to find time to cover the lectures, your theory, and at the same time, you have to try to do some, some illustrations and book back questions as well. And the question is like, should you actually spend time doing what during watching one shot videos? I would definitely recommend no, because like try to understand things by reading them first, try to understand them by reading an NCIA textbook, reading some DPPs, reading your own study package, and then try to understand it from there instead of going to one-shot videos because one-shot videos are generally time-consuming and they drain out a lot of energy from you. But what should we learn? What are the important topics? And how do we actually cover the entire vast syllabus of 11 standard topics? Well, if you truly think about it, there are a lot of chapters which are interconnected to each other and a lot of chapters where you can just get a lot of marks because there are, there's a lot of specific weightage given to specific topics, especially in J-Mains. And we're going to be discussing just that and discussing how you can actually ace these specific areas. In the case of physics, there are certain important chapters like thermodynamics and circular motion. And there are even certain chapters like rigid body dynamics where, you know, like if you're someone who's targeting J means, try not to go into the extreme, very difficult questions, but at least try to cover up the basics, like try to understand what is mirror moment of inertia, try to understand how you can conserve linear momentum, how do you conserve angular momentum. There are certain important topics such as the mechanical properties of solids, you know, properties regarding stress, strain, Young's modulus, and these kind of topics, and even topics like waves, where you can get direct questions by using direct, applying direct formulas. And the best way to actually learn about physics in 11th standard is through a book called Sengage. I mean, 
I absolutely love this book because of its ability to explain tough concepts in a very easy way and they'll give very good illustrations and even the book back questions are really really good. So try to do the illustration questions without actually looking at solutions and if you feel like you need to see the solutions, look at the solutions and try to solve them again. And through that you will get a much stronger understanding of physics and if you just solve Singh religiously, I'm sure, pretty sure you'll do really well in G means, BITSAT and even GE advanced as well. And in 11th standard chemistry, there's a lot of importance given to graphs, especially like things, especially things related to thermodynamics and thermochemistry, trying to understand what is an isochoric graph and understanding different graphs of adiabatic expansion and understanding different places where you can actually gain a lot of marks is actually pretty important, right? I mean, there are topics like gaseous state where you can easily make a lot of marks. There are places like chemical bonding, which is sort of, it's not even inorganic, inorganic as such, but you can still make a lot of marks from there. And even there are important topics where, you know, it's the starting of organic chemistry, like general organic chemistry and hydrocarbons, and where you can easily make a lot of marks without knowing a lot of in-depth concepts about organic chemistry. But at the same time, don't forget the basics of inorganic chemistry that you learned from 11th standard because it's going to be helpful a lot in your 12th standard and before your idea examinations as well. Especially things related to S-block elements and P-block elements will be very, very handy for you. And the books that you need to refer is, I think Sangeet is a really great source for chemistry as well. You can also try the Narendra Avasthi book, which is very, very good for physical chemistry. And given that a lot of physical chemistry questions come up in the numerical section of J means, I think it's good if you can just try solving a lot of questions so that you get to understand the pattern of questions that are going to get asked. And once you understand the pattern of questions that are going to get asked, you will understand like how do you actually go about solving the different kind of problems. And let's come down to the most dangerous topic that most people are scared of, which is mathematics. Mathematics is one of the most important areas that it's really, really crucial for getting a really good rank. And for that, you need to focus on one very important topic, that is coordinate geometry. And a lot of coordinate geometry is actually just based on formulas. And if you understand how to apply the right formula at the right place, you will get a lot of marks, especially given that the level of J means has gone down drastically in terms of difficulty over the years. I think having a good understanding of books like Sengage and understanding if you can just solve the illustration problems well, and if you can solve the book back questions well of corner geometry, trust me, you're good to go. You're, you're practically safe enough to like even go up to GE Advanced, right? And even on top of that, if you want to prepare for something like GE Advanced, then there's a DPP that comes along with this engaged textbook. So you can try solving that. But I think anything more than that is just way too much for maths. And another important topic that you should not miss out on 11th standard is permutation combination because there's a heavy weightage of permutation combination, especially when it's combined with things like probability, right? I mean, and if you don't really have a strong understanding of permutation combination, then doing probability is going to be a nightmare for you. And probability has a really good weightage in both BITSAT and JE means as well. So make sure to keep these things in mind and understand that solving problems and identifying the right problems and circling them and coming back to them during revision is your key and that's how you improve your scores drastically over the next one year. And if you're someone who's preparing for GE means seriously, do check out Bitsat Busted. We have a free community that we are including people into. If you're someone who's preparing for GE 2025 or Bitsat 2025 or writing any entrance exams in 2025, we are ready to help you out. There'll be live sessions close to every week and we'll be providing material and resources for people to excel in their examinations. So I'll see you guys in the community. And until then, it's goodbye. Bye -bye. Strike terror, but I got your errors Pushing contra, baby, got that pot